Just days before South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem's memoir releases, the memoir is facing scrutiny over new allegations of spurious and unsettling claims. First, Noem faced outrage after admitting to shooting and killing her 14-month-old dog, Cricket, for misbehaving. Now, another claim that she met with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un while in Congress is raising more eyebrows. The claim in No Going Back has even been refuted by her own spokesperson. Adding to the intrigue, an excerpt details a strange encounter with former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley. Noam describes a call where Haley allegedly offered mentorship, but ended with what the South Dakota governor saw as a veiled threat. Haley's spokesperson refutes the account, saying it was just a supportive call during a challenging time for Noam. The Haley spokesperson also clarified the conversation occurred in 2020, not 2021 as written. The refuted claims come days after excerpts revealed Noam had shot her dog and a goat, which sparked widespread condemnation from both Republicans and Democrats. When asked about the situation, Senator Mitt Romney contrasted Noam's actions with his own past controversy when he left the family dog on top of the roof of his vehicle during a 12-hour trip. Romney said, I didn't shoot my dog, I loved my dog, and he loved me. In an interview with Fox News, Noam maintained her only choice was to kill Cricket. It was a dog that was uh, extremely dangerous. It had come to us from a family who had found her way too aggressive. In response to the uproar, a bipartisan group of lawmakers formed the Congressional Dog Lovers Caucus, dubbed the Paucus. The caucus aims to bridge the political divide by championing legislation safeguarding the rights and well-being of dogs. Noam had been floated as a possible running mate for Donald Trump come November, but the fallout from no going back could dash those dreams. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor.